Hello everyone, I'm Viv from Creative Anna Viv. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. From today, we are going to crochet together, to learn to crochet together. So this is a beginner class and is dedicated to all beginners and to my niece Daria. So, if you are here, that means you want to learn how to crochet. So, let's see. You are going to need some yarn. I have this one. It's Heartland from Lion Brand. You can buy any acrylic yarn you want. Let's see what it says on this yarn label. It says it's 100% acrylic. It's 5 ounces or 251 yards. It's 51, yes. <laughs> I think my light is in my eyes. Okay. And here. It says it's medium. That means... So this is the, the yarn weight. Yeah, it's medium or four. Okay, and here. You can see... So, for this one we have to use a six millimeters crochet hook and I'm going to show you. So this one is six and it has also a letter, it's J. I don't know if you can see this. So it's J six. Okay, you don't have to use always this size. Just try and see what crochet hook is better for you. Okay, anything else? Here we can see so it's machine wash, gentle, single uh, uh, cycle. I won't read all this. Okay, let me see if we have the gouge here. I don't think. So it's Lion Brand. Hmm. Not well, always we found our gouge. We are going to learn about this. So you have some yarn. If you can choose between crochet hooks, so this one it's metal, it's five millimeters crochet hook. This one it's also five millimeters and it has this letter, it's H. So if you are at a store and you have to choose choose this one because it has this handle and you will crochet better with this one this one is too thin you know and it's hard for your hand to handle and so it's better this something like this with uh, handle or you can choose this and attach something to better grip okay of course you will need a measurement tape a scissor yarn needle so this is a yarn to wave in all your ends you are going to need this. These are called stitch markers and I'm going to show you what you can do with this. These are very 
useful. This one, it's raw counter and it's very good because you don't have to use a pen and notebook. So after, sorry, after you are finishing your first row, let's say, so first, second, and you can rotate this and it's perfect. Okay, so let's begin. For today's tutorial, I am going to use this yarn. This is uh, also acrylic. It is called Rosa. You are not going to find this. This is from Romania, so don't look for it. And let me see. So it's a 100% acrylic and it calls for 3.5 millimeters crochet hook. I have one here. It's 3.5. Uh, no, this one it's D3 millimeters. So it's 3. But doesn't matter because we are not going to use this one because it's too thin for this yarn. So just try. For today's tutorial, let me see. We are going to use this one. So this 5 millimeter crochet hook, it's the best crochet hook for beginners. 5 or 5.5, it's perfect. Okay, so... This is our yarn. This is our crochet hook. So, let's see how you can hold a crochet hook. Some people are holding the crochet hook like this. Yeah, like a pen. I can't. <laughs> I can't do this. So, this depends on you. But I can't. I'm going to show you. Uh, I really can't. So it will be funny. Let me see. No. No way. <laughs> mm. No. No. I can't. <laughs> okay. Some people and me hold a crochet hook like this, like a knife. Okay. And I'm holding my crochet hook like this. And this works perfect for me because it's very easy. Yeah, I don't know how you can... I saw many people who are holding their crochet hook like this, but I really can't. So this is going to be funny. Okay, now what? Bon. <laughs> this is good in Romanian. Okay, now you are going to learn <laughs> Romanian. Okay, so try the better way for you to hold your crochet hook. So, like this, you don't have to hold it too tight, you know, because your hand will hurt after this. So hold your crochet hook. Like a knife, let's say. Like me. Okay. And now, let's see. So, this is our end. Yeah, our yarn end. And this yarn is coming from the ball. Yeah? Okay, let's see. So, we are having our crochet hook in I am right-handed so in your right hand now this is the end of the yarn okay so holding the yarn and this one in your left hand yeah let's form a loop something like this like a knot yeah let's do this again a uh, loop like this now with your crochet hook catch so you can use your fingers yeah i hope you can see what am i doing here 
So grab your crochet hook, insert like this, and grab this loop. Yeah. Now draw the yarn on the hook to the loop. Tighten the stitch like this. It's not hard. Let's do this again. So this is your yarn end. Okay. And holding the yarn and this one in your left hand, form a loop like this. So, take this part of the yarn, yarn end, and over your finger, you form this loop. Now, draw the yarn on the hook to the loop, like this, and pull the yarn end, like this, with your left hand, yeah? to tighten the stitch on the hook, this one here. So pull like this, yeah? The yarn end, this one. And this is your slip knot. Now, holding this one, the chain, the base of the first chain with your left fingers, catch the yarn again with the hook, but I am going to show you something. So there are many many ways to do this, but wrap the yarn around your finger and this is going to help you, believe me. Because this is going to help you with your tension. I'm going to show you. Now, so, like this. Let's do this again. Okay. Like this. Okay, insert the hook. And now, with your left fingers, you are tightening this stitch, okay? This first chain is not stitch. Now, so holding the base of the first chain with your left fingers, catch the yarn again with your hook and I'm going to show you. You have to draw the yarn on the hook back to the previous chain to make a new chain. So, like this, yeah? So yarn over your hook, like this, and ta -da! this is your first chain. Yeah, so draw the yarn on the hook and this is your first chain. So draw the yarn or pull the yarn on the hook back to the previous chain to make a new chain. Let's do this again and I am going to show you why this is going to help you. Now wrap back this yarn, okay? And you have to always have your fingers in the chain, on the chain you just worked, because you can do like this and you can choose how long or how short your chain is going to be. See, like this. 
Now, yarn over like this. Yarn over and pull through the loop you just made. So now you have one, two. We are going to count our chains later. Now, move your fingers here on the chain you just made. Yarn over like this. Yeah, so this is the move. Yarn over and you have to see what am I doing with this finger. And this is going to help you, yeah? And go to, to this chain. And now if you feel like you don't have any yarn, just do like this. And wrap uh, more yarn on, on, on your finger. Yeah? Move your fingers here. Because I'm going to show you. If you are going to have your fingers here, you can't, you can crochet, you know, and you can't choose how short or long your chain is going to be. So always move your fingers here on the chain you just made. Now, yarn over, so this is, this finger will always sit like this, okay? And did you see what I've made? So like this and now so yarn over and pull through the loop. The chain. This is chain. The chain the chain you just made. And again. You are going to to know when you have to wrap more yarn on your finger on unwrap from your from, from your finger. So yarn over your hook here and see I'm holding my hook like a knife. Now so yarn over your hook and with your fingers here yeah because you need to do this okay and with your fingers here pull the yarn to this see this is magic <laughs> and you can make this chain as long as you want see okay let's do this again so your homework homework for today is to make a chain and i am waiting for you on our facebook group it's called creative anaviv crochet i will put the link in the description box below and please come over and post the pictures with your chain I can't wait to see you all. Okay, so let's do this again. Hold your crochet hook. And now, this is the yarn end and this is the yarn that co it comes from the ball. Okay, so wrap around your finger like this, like you want to make a knot. A regular knot. Now remove the loop and this is a pretzel, yeah? A pink pretzel. <laughs> Cute pretzel. Now with your hook, so and with your middle finger, you are going to move to push the yarn, yeah? And ta -da! this is your slip knot. Yeah, and you are tightening by holding this yarn. 
you don't have to be too tight because you need to work into this first slip knot and if it's too tight yeah if you did this you always can do like this and now it's a bigger slip knot okay now again so we have to repeat until we have a perfect chain so hold your loop here with your left fingers yarn over hook like this yeah and you are going to move your finger along with your crochet hook and your yarn like this they are one okay and now pull through this loop and this is your chain now you need more yarn so unwrap one loop from your finger move your two fingers here two left fingers here because you want to have control to your chain yeah always move your fingers in the on the last chain you've made now again yarn over hook like this and pull see the movement I'm moving also this finger move it to, to the loop here and this is your second chain so every time you are going to yarn over and pull the yarn through the loop you are going to make a chain so now we have one two three chains again see it's easy in this way now again yarn over see I am moving my hand my left hand yarn over the hook and insert the hook so uh, uh, see my my finger here yarn over and pull through this chain and now we have one two three four see? now let's wrap more yarn on our index finger and again move our left fingers here I'm going to show you if you you are not going to move your fingers here you will not be able to crochet see I am <laughs> you believe me you are not going to be able to crochet oh, this is fun but see it's too far from your working chain yeah so you have to move move it eventually sometime sometime okay so move your fingers here yarn over and with this so you are going to close this finger to your chain and ba -bam, ta -dum. Okay, so now we have, let's count our chains. Let's see. Oh, it's pink day today for me. My yarn is it's also pink. So, oh, first I'm going to show you why you need this. This stitch marker, it's going to secure your work. So it won't unravel. You know sorry and now let's 
count our chains. So we have one. Let me see. I hope you can see. You have. I don't know. You have one, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So this is your homework for today until we are going to meet next time. Make a chain how long or how short do you want? Make a chain, I don't know, 100 chains or 50 or 10 or until you are happy with your chain. Okay, if you are going to watch my tutorials, you are going to see that I'm not using slip knot. Why? I don't know, because this way my grandmother taught or I don't know, teach me and I know because I don't like this knot to be here, you know, I don't like this to be in the beginning of my crochet project. But you are a beginner and you need this. So let's make a chain again. Hold your knot like this, yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, insert the hook, unravel the yarn from your finger, yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, insert the hook and move your fingers like this, yarn over, and insert the hook. Okay guys, I hope you like this video. Please comment down below and tell me if you like it. If you don't like it, why you don't like it. <laughs> I am going to film more beginner's tutorials and I need you to tell me. What do you need? What do you want to learn? Don't forget to enter my giveaway. You can win many beautiful crochet patterns and you will be able to make them in no time, believe me. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Please like, if you like it, of course. <laughs> Subscribe. Share. Yeah, share it, because this is really nice. If you share it, I, I would say thank you. Thank you all. And I'm waiting for you on my Facebook, on my Instagram. It's creative anaviv, creative .anaviv. And you are going to find all the information in the description box below. Also, I am waiting you on my website. Until next time, thank you all for being here. Please take care. Take, take care. <laughs> okay, be safe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.